Hi everyone, so I have a funny story to share with you guys and I don't think I shared this story on my channel but if I did, if I did, it was like two years ago and I can't remember if I shared this story or not because I did share a few stories like this a couple of years ago. Okay, so this happened to me when I was about, actually no I wasn't about, I was 11 years old when this happened. And I had a couple of my friends over and my brother was, I forget where he was. He was at one of his friend's houses or outside playing or something like that. So I had a couple friends over and my dad was, he was, um, wasn't living with us at the time, but sometimes he would come and stay at our house with us just because like, so we wouldn't have to go all the way to his house and just made things easier. And because my grandfather at the time was like, he was very sick and he needed like 24 hour care. So just so we weren't all, it would just, it would have just been a lot. So sometimes he just stayed at our house with us and my mother didn't really care. But anyway, that's not the point of the story. But I had some friends over and I forget where my mom was, but I think my dad was like downstairs or something. So my friends and I were playing hide and seek. So... <laughs> We had a rule when we played hide and seek, we would stay on one floor because then if we went like, say for example, we were downstairs and somebody went upstairs, you could hear people walking up the stairs. So that would be a dead giveaway because you would know that, okay, you're looking for this person and they went upstairs. So that's why we stay on one floor because you could hear people going up or down the stairs and you know where to look. And it gives them away. But anyway, um, so we were playing hide and seek and we were upstairs and I remember my friend, my one friend, um, now my, my friends, my one friend's name was Kristen. She has the same name as me. And my other friend's name was Veronica. So what I just, my hiding spot was really funny. So <laughs> I knew how to turn on my brother's TV. So I turned on my brother's TV. I undid his bed. <laughs> I got in his bed, like I actually were like got in bed. I was laying down in bed with the TV on, and I shut the door, and like, you know, my friends were looking for me, so they looked in all the rooms. So my friend Veronica opens the door, and he said, and she said, <laughs> um, <laughs> she said. Sorry to bother you, Thomas. And she and she knew it was me in the bed, but she saw me in the bed and she was like, Sorry to bother you. And I was like cracking up. And I got out of bed and we were gonna go to the next person. Because the next person who who's gonna hide, who's gonna look for people. So my mother comes walks past my brother's room and she goes oh Thomas didn't make his bed that's real attractive I'm like and I was kind of like laughed to myself because I knew that I was the one who actually like unmade it so after a while so we we're playing our game and after a while my friends went home and you know we got like we had dinner I think we got like subs for dinner like hot sandwiches for dinner like meatball subs and stuff so we had our dinner and then we were just sitting around in the living room, just kind of just hanging out. It was all four of us, my brother, my parents. We were just, just hanging out in the living room, probably listening to TV, doing whatever, talking. So out of the blue, I just admitted what I did. So I told, I told everyone that I was, when my friends were over, I <laughs> went in my brother's room and unmade his bed and got into bed and turned on the TV <laughs> because <laughs> we were playing hide and seek. So everyone kind of everyone got upset and my mom my mom told me to go fix it, go fix his bed. And I remember my and my brother was like, no, my dad was like, when you have your girlfriends over, you don't go in your brother's room. And then he asked me, he said, well, how would you like it? if your brother's friends went in your room. And I said, I wouldn't like it. Like, you know, bedrooms are private. Like, you don't just go in people's rooms and and stuff. So, 
I went upstairs. Instead of making the bed, <laughs> I stripped the bed completely naked. Like, I took sheets off. I took the blankets off, the pillowcases off the pillows. So, and then I came back downstairs and I was like, I fixed, I made the bed, I fixed it. Um, so my brother comes up like later on after my dad went home and we went upstairs into our rooms for the night. Um, my, my brother was like, he goes in his room and he was pissed. He was like, she didn't fix it. She took everything off the bed. So he had to go in and fix it um he had to like fix his, he had to remake his bed so <laughs> that was kind of funny but um I'm sure you guys did stuff like that too so like I remember one time we even like I had a sleepover and we went in my brother's room and he had like this a whole bunch of um smarties I forget where he got them but he had this thing of like a bunch of packs of smarties and like my friends and I were eating them and like they were gone I think there was like maybe one or two left when he had, like, you know, he had a lot, so, <laughs> yeah, we, we shouldn't have done that, but, I mean, it was, it was funny at the time, I mean, like, I wouldn't do that now, go hiding in people's rooms, but it was, it was funny at the time, so, yeah, but, um, I'm gonna end the video here, so be sure to comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.